Well, hey, it's Pastor Seth here with you again, and thanks so much for watching this. I pray that it helps you, encourage you to get into God's Word for yourself. I hope you have a Bible reading plan. I hope you are reading the scriptures for yourself. You're maybe meeting in a group of people to, to talk about what you're reading and, and pray through what you're reading. The Bible is God's Word given to us so that we can know Him. It is a miracle, a treasure, something we should not take for granted. I'm reading through uh, the Bible this year on a Bible reading plan called uh, Read the Bible for Life 4 Plus 1. I know there's there's many good plans out there. That's just one I like. Um, I, I read through it in the YouVersion Bible app. Cool little app. And uh, every day we read uh, out of the Psalms. This year I'll, I'll read through the Psalms through this Bible uh, reading plan twice. And Psalm 56, 3 and 4 says this. When I, when I am afraid... I put my trust in you, in God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? And that's the question. What can flesh do to me? This is a Psalm of David. When, when some people were like not being very nice to him, and he's reflecting on who God is and how God is so much bigger than even these people that he's, he's in their power. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. What can flesh do to me? And that's, that's just a great, a great question. You know, Jesus picks up on this. He says, do not fear th those who can kill the body only. Rather, fear the one who, after the body dies, can throw the soul into hell as well. That's a, that's a Seth paraphrase. It's not exact, exact but it's, it's something like that. But, it, but he, he alludes to this idea, what can flesh do to me? You know, no matter what happens in our life, no matter if someone's like terribly mean, unjust, cruel, for followers of Jesus, what can flesh do to me? We, we know, serve, and love somebody who's higher than any, any created person. What can flesh do to us? What do we need to fear? We need to remember. We need to remember that God is bigger than whoever it is we might be afraid of. And whatever that person can do is nothing in comparison to what God can do. And in fact, if they're in a position of authority, that... God has, by his sovereignty and providence, he's allowed them to be in that position. What can flesh do to me? The answer is flesh ultimately can do nothing to me. Because my life and my eternity is in the hands of the almighty God of the universe. 